Do you want to give the news the good news? <laughs> so, what, what to, the, to the fair people of Hexham? Exactly, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hexham in Northumberland has been named Britain's happiest place to live. Well done, everyone in Hexham. Yes, the Happy at Home Index, now in its 10th year, asked more than 21,000 people across Britain how they feel about where they live. And the market town also came out on top, actually, oh. in 2019. Fantastic. Well, you know what? We've gone right to the very top on this, ladies and gentlemen. Guy Opperman is a member of Parliament for Hexham. He is a very happy man. Man, absolutely, there we are. He represented the area for over 10 years and minister in the department for work and pensions. Well, what's makes it, what makes you so happy? Well, uh, two times in three years, uh, knocking it out of the park, we're doing very, very well. Uh, you need to come and see. That's the most important yeah. message I want to try and get out there is that uh, get out of Paddington, get out of London, come and see uh, the amazingness uh, that is Hexham and the surrounding countryside. I suppose there's a, there's a whole bunch of things. There's an amazing sense of community. Uh, you've got culture, you've got walking, you've got uh, the opportunity to see Hadrian's Wall, the World Heritage Site, literally on your doorstep. You've got some of the best gastro pubs in the country at the oh. Ratted Anic, oh. or you've got amazing independent bookshops that are completely knocking it out of the park, whether it is Cogito or Forum, both nominated for uh, awards over the last couple of years. You've got really quality shops there, and you've got a wider community that really supports it, that is mm. a mix between home living in a small community of just over about 10,000 people, mm. but also surrounded by beautiful countryside, you know, Northumberland National Park, mm. you've got the River Tyne on your doorstep, and you've got access to the city and the bright lights of Newcastle and oh. uh, Carlisle down the road. What's not so, to like? What's not to like, exactly the point. I think the, th <laughs> the serious point that we want to try and make, though, is that we want people to come and visit, and yeah. we want to try and showcase the fact that mm. Hexham, two times in the last three years, has been the happiest and best place to visit, uh, frankly, in the world, let alone in the UK. Oh, I tell you what, you know, <laughs> this is what you want from, you, from yeah. your local MP, isn't it? Banging the drum. Yes. Um, <laughs> let me, so the happiness measures apparently include things like friendliness, community spirit, but they also include opportunities to develop skills, um, you know, good schools, that kind of thing, nature and, and green scenery, etc. Uh, the government has obviously obviously been talking a lot about levelling up for since they were elected in 2019 and the reality is there are so many places that don't have these things, these mm. things that have led Hexham to be voted uh, the best, glory. the happiest place to live. Is the government planning on actually delivering levelling up and will places in the north who ha have uh, high levels of deprivation see any of these sorts of uh, um, you know, positives that Hexham enjoys clearly? So let me answer that head on. First of all, if you want to see an actual two minute video of exactly what levelling up looks like in Hexham, go to my pinned tweet on my uh, Twitter profile and you will see uh, me trying to explain what we have done to transform this community. So I have four high schools, all of them have been rebuilt or improved over the last 10 years. Uh, the last one was just recently reopened uh, after a rebuild in up to 35 million plus investment in Hexham Queen Elizabeth High School, award-winning school. So there is work done there already. You also see, obviously, improved connectivity, hospital services, old, old hospitals mm. in places like Hawkesall that would have been knocked down or turned into flats. We've turned into a very modern, uh, integrated GP and locally-led NHS facility. Mm. We're trying to do things very differently there. And if there is a role model for levelling up, I would suggest Hexham over the last 10 years is exactly that. Whether it is in the improvement in schools, I've mentioned the four high schools being rebuilt. Whether it is the way that healthcare is now done in a very, very different way by Northumbria NHS Trust, mm. who are very much the leaders in the country. Or whether it is the way in which businesses are tackling things. Uh, Ego is the biggest local community uh, employer, employs over 600 people. I opened an apprenticeship academy there. They are doing retraining. We just had a UTC open nearby. There is things done in a very, very different way, which I suggest is a role model for the wider part of the UK. So it is true we need to do more levelling up across uh, the UK, and I think the Prime Minister is utterly committed to that. Um, but if you want an example of where it's been successful over the last 10 years, go to Hexham. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Hopefully other areas in the UK can, can, can replicate that, I suppose. I've just been having a... Uh, whilst I was obviously listening to every word you were saying, I was also checking, I was also checking things to do in Hexham. There's the Museum of Classic Sci-Fi, apparently. There's in an Allendale, yes. There's, there's an alpaca encounter. I think oh, there's fantastic stuff. There's also the Roman Army Museum for the Culture Vultures. But I want to know what your favourite thing to do in Hexham is. Ah, uh, 
In Hexham itself, it's a stroll around the town. Because mm. you have in the heart of Hexham, mm. which is very unique to the way in which this is done, you have Hexham Abbey. And you have a whole bunch of independent shops. Mm. And you have an opportunity to com- uh, experience culture, shopping, entertainment, and community spirit all in one. Mm. There are wider things. So you mentioned the amazing uh, Doctor Who, yeah. Allendale, uh, sci fi. Um, museum, which is incredible and has won awards as well, and mm. uh, the man who runs it is an amazing bloke. Uh, or you, you know, if you want Roman history, you mm. go to Corbridge, you go to Vindolanda, where the Vindolanda tablets and various other things are there it's from both the British Museum and on uh, Vindolanda site. There is amazing sense of culture, history. Uh, the community has been there for literally thousands of years. It's taken in the Romans and everyone beyond. Uh, next year in 2022, we have the uh, Hadrian's Wall celebration of the 1900th anniversary of Hadrian's Wall. Massive celebration of one of the great world UNESCO sites that is mm. Hadrian's Wall. Opportunity for not just Rachel to get out and about and uh, show us the, uh, the wonders of Hadrian's Wall, but for all of you to do a live broadcast. Oh, from, from the wall. From the wall. From the wall. We could do that, you know. It would be very cool, wouldn't it? Oh, it would actually be, yes, it might be a bit nippy, but we'll do it. We'll you do, can do it. it. You come in the summer. The days yeah. are very long. <laughs> uh, it is, you're in the middle of Northumberland National Park, the greatest national yeah. park that there is. Uh, and you have an opportunity to uh, broadcast not just to, I mean, you can see 20 miles yeah. to Scotland comfortably. You can see 20 miles uh, to Cumbria and Durham. Uh, we have, you know, big sky views. I always call it England's Montana. It is amazing. <laughs> well, there you go. Sold, I think. Sold for, for, for me personally on that one. But uh, you've got a list here of, of some yeah, other so, happy places, so the you? So the other, uh, there's 10, these are the 10 happy places. The North places. is doing well, you know. Hexham, obviously, in the North East. We've spoken about that. Uh, Richmond upon Thames, London comes uh, in uh, a close second. Um, funnily enough, none of these, I'm not surprised, feature London very much mm. uh, uh, so, you know, what's the contrast between somewhere like Hexham, where you get to enjoy, because I'm a country person, I'm not really a city girl, and I love all of that and experiencing um, the outdoors. There's the reason why the only place in London on the top ten is Richmond upon Thames, yes. because that's what people that's enjoy. And there's a reality that, you know, cities are quite miserable, aren't they? And actually, we should be encouraging <laughs> people, if they want to be happier, to perhaps ex- go somewhere where there's, it's more pleasant, there's more outdoors. Well, I think you're right, but more particularly, it's a sense of community, isn't it? Mm, It's a mm. sense of uh, place, of time, of having an understanding of what it is the the community you represent and the wider community, whether that is uh, the culture and the history of the place, and, and having the opportunity of the space, as you mentioned, the green outdoors, You know, you can literally go within uh, a mile and you are in amazing countryside. You can cycle onto Hadrian's Wall within literally 10 or 15 minutes. Um, You have the capacity to... Uh, feel a sense of place and time, mm. the time to live that isn't necessarily there in cities. Is there, a, is there an opportunity here? The work from home, uh, well, it was enforced upon us for a while, yes. you know, but I mean, it's just stuck a bit, hasn't it? And, yes. and, and, and isn't this now a time, an opportunity potentially for places like Hexham or indeed Harrogate, Hove, mm-hmm. I'm not going to pronounce the Welsh one, where actually uh, people can now work from home and these, these now are places where you, know, you don't need to go in a city, do you? It's already happening. So oh. I have businesses, uh, literally a walking distance from the centre of Hexham, mm. who would have been based in... Uh, London, M25, maybe Birmingham or Manchester, as of 10 years ago. Mm. And those businesses, provided you've got decent broadband, mm. have the capacity to uh, function and do seriously complex. I've got some computer-generated mm. engineering businesses. I've got some stress testing of offshore oil platforms mm. and wind farms. These are very techie businesses based in Hexham, mm. where people have uh, a great place to live, got fantastic local schools, mm. Mm. and uh, people are beginning to work uh, in different places. And there is the connectivity. Of course, it should yeah. be improved, but the connectivity is sufficient that these people are able to come to London uh, once every two weeks or go on the road or go and do international travel mm. on an ongoing mm. basis. That, that is the future, without a shadow of a doubt. Mm. And, you know, you talk about the North-South divide, you talk about the difference of the economy of, the, mm. of central London and the M25 as compared to rural areas. Uh, improved broadband and the capacity to work from home wherever you are yeah. is the is the way ahead. And that will do more for levelling up than almost anything else. Well, there you go. Well, Guy, thank you very much. And I suppose next time I see you, we'll be sat on Hadrian's Wall. I <laughs> look forward to it. Summer next year, I wouldn't recommend it in the winter <laughs> because it is quite snowy. Summer next year, look forward to seeing you there. Good stuff.